Hi, my name is Alex Ramey. I'm the owner of DJ Cut Entertainment, and today I'm gonna go over our online planning forms. Once you become one of my clients, I will give you a login to my website that lets you access these forms. So after the ceremony is completed, we'll transition into the reception. And the very first event is cocktail hour. And in this form, we have the cocktail music and dinner music. Usually let us know a genre of music that you guys would like. For cocktail music, we'd like something a little bit more up-tempo. After that, the very first event of the reception is the grand entrance. We need to know the song and how you guys would like to be introduced. After the speeches are done, we'll go into the cutting of the cake and we'll need to know a song for this. So the next thing on the form are the songs for the first dance, father, daughter, and mother, son. If you're having trouble finding any songs, you can go to our music database. And we have a list of all the different songs that happen at a wedding. Later in the night, we can go and do the bouquet and garter toss. I usually have about a half an hour of dancing before we go into the bouquet and garter toss. If you don't know songs for these, you can also refer back to the music database. If there's any other important details that we need to know about, you can fill that out and put them in at the bottom. Another helpful tool that we have is a timeline. And what this allows you to do is build your guys' timeline from start to finish. There's a little drop down box that shows you all the events that traditionally happen in chronological order. You guys can put these in any order you want, but this drop down menu shows the order that it traditionally happens at a wedding for the best flow of events. If you guys don't see an event that you'd like to add, at the very bottom it says other event. You guys can tell us what is going to be going on during this specific event that needs to be added to your timeline. So when it comes to picking out music for your reception, besides the specific songs, we have an online database. You can create a must playlist and you can create a do not playlist. When it comes to choosing music for your reception, you can leave it up to me to pick out all the songs or you guys can choose some songs. We have a do not playlist and a must playlist. In this first drop down menu, we have the top 200 songs that people play at a wedding. This is updated every month and it's a national database of all the songs that are being played at weddings across the United States. One of the more popular questions that I get asked is how many songs do I need to pick out for my reception? I've had clients that want to pick out 20, 30 songs for their reception and I've had other clients that don't choose any and say you're a professional, I want you to select all the songs. I like a mixture of, of both. I think between 5 to 15 songs it gives me a good idea of what kind of music you guys like and what your guests are going to like. And then from there I use my professional expertise to add in songs to fill in the rest of the time for the dance party. 